Welcome back to more Animal Crossing New Horizons Happy Home Paradise. Last time we took a tour of some of the facilities we've worked on, so this time we're ready to get back to work. First of all, there is something I actually missed last time, uh, so we need to head over to the restaurant once more. And more specifically, we need to head to the kitchen. Whoa, Jonathan! I'm surprised to see you back here. I'm thinking about making some fruit salad. What? You already know how to make fruit salad. What? I thought he came up with a brand new recipe. You're so good at this kitchen stuff. Take this recipe I wrote and give it to somebody who wants a real happy kitchen. Wouldn't it be neat if that recipe made a bunch of folks real happy? I think that'd be neat. So, in addition to getting um, a start uh, to grow something from the school, uh, we can also get a recipe from the kitchen. Uh, so yeah, you can get a lot of free items through these facilities. Thanks. Come back soon. And next up, I don't actually want to make a new house today. I want to try remodeling an old one um, in order to work towards a long-term goal. Uh, so let's talk to Nico. Hi, what's up? Okay, then I'm your guy. Where do you want to go? Let's pay a visit to our very first, um, first vacationer, uh, Eloise. Here we are at Eloise's vacation home. Jonathan, what can I do for you? When I first came to the spot, it was with you. Oh, look at me getting nostalgic. Jonathan, what can I do for you? The vacation home? Um, why do you ask? What? A roommate? As in, share my vacation home with someone? With someone? Well, that's a development. It's rather sudden, but I'm so intrigued that I have to ask that we do this right away. Uh, it's so unlike me to get this excited and leave the rest in your capable hands. Thanks for putting in your request. So, let's talk roommates. Alright, you can find our client here, the perfect roomie, right Jonathan? Get to it. Alright, so Eloise had a reading room. So, let's try to find someone who would be comparable. Um, again, if it's like last time, we won't have a concrete theme to work off of, which makes this a little bit more complicated. Um, we'll just have to go with what furniture is provided uh, from the other client, uh, making this a lot tougher. Um, let's head over to the restaurant. This is where we found a roommate last time. Um, how about you? Oh hey, what's going on? So if I understand you correctly, Eloise is looking for a roommate at a vacation home. 
and you thought of me? But I don't even really know Eloise. I mean, it sounds fun, but maybe we should all talk about it together a bit first. Gosh, I hope I get along with Eloise. What if she doesn't like books? I guess we'll find out. It's so nice to meet up like this, Eloise. It seems like the two of you are already getting along really well. So, do you think you want to give moving in together a try? I didn't think we'd click this well, but here we are. I'll gladly be roommates as long as it's okay with Eloise. Okay, okay, looks like we've got a lot of roomy enthusiasm. That's great, thank you both. Hey, would you like to take this opportunity to add a second floor to your vacation home? Ah, uh, yes, two floors. Could be a good opportunity to spread out. What do you think? You know, you're right. I'll pass this time and stick with a cozy single floor. Okay, gotcha. There will be other chances, so think about it. Okay, Jonathan. Please go ahead and lead the way to Eloise's vacation home. Welcome to my lovely vacation home, Gail. Adorable, no? Oh wow, I get to vacation here too? I'm so looking forward to seeing Jonathan's design. This was the first home we ever designed. Uh, so yeah, it's not entirely impressive in hindsight. Um, also with Gail, that was a complete coincidence that she was like, I like books, because I have never seen her before in any Animal Crossing game, so her saying that was like, oh good, I actually picked someone, uh, somewhat compatible. Um, so that worked out very nicely. Alright, let's see what we have to work with. Um, so yeah, if I'm not mistaken, anything marked with the little red circle, uh, will indicate something that's new. Um, and yeah, in general, I feel like a lot of these do work relatively well. Like, the violin, I feel like, would work uh, pretty okay with, like, a reading theme. Um, again, I wish you could actually see the other person's uh, request. Um, part of me almost thinks because she was talking about books, maybe that means that there's actually a chance that, um... Like, how to put this? That basically her theme also involves reading, and thus actually a lot of the, the furniture actually overlaps between the two, which would make this a lot easier. Um, there's also a lot of like fake trees and like grass, which is kind of interesting. Um, so, yeah, this might actually be fairly comparable to what we already had, to be honest. Um, again, off screen, I should have actually looked up what Gail's request would have been. Um, but yeah, I'd never seen this villager before, so I'm kind of winging it at this point. Um, but yeah, it is actually nice being able to set up roommates. Uh, from what I've seen, in total, we need about three roommates, but the problem with that is I don't know entirely how that's classified, um, because we technically did a uh, roommate house as part of the story. I'm not sure if that really counts towards the actual total we need. Uh, so I don't know if we need like three more from that or if we only need two more uh, because that one actually counted. Uh, so I guess we'll find out. This house feels very cozy in retrospect compared to how elaborate house the houses were getting uh, towards the end as we had a lot more options to work with. Um, as is, we actually don't have a ton to work with here um, at the start, so yeah, this is very minimalistic by comparison. Um, I almost feel like uh, I should use more items, to be honest, uh, because this does feel remarkably empty uh, in hindsight. Um, also, to reiterate, 
uh, something special happens that three roommates, again, not sure if that counts, uh, the initial one, um, with Tybalt, so I guess we'll find out later if that actually does count. Um, I also kind of feel like maybe Gale has like a fish theme to some extent, um, because there was also like this, the, um, wait, actually was it this? Am I, is this what I think it is? I, I think I misread, I, I think I read that as like minnow, not winnowing, so whoops, my bad. Uh, also I want to head outside. So I actually noticed a bunch of stuff that I didn't catch uh, when I was scrolling through the list originally because frankly, when you have two different uh, characters and their sets of furniture, um, it's easy to kind of lose track. Um, I missed this, so I thought maybe I'd put this outside uh, for some decor and also put out a hammock as well uh, for some outdoor um, decoration as well. Put this maybe about here. Uh, like so. Move this over one towards that side, and yeah, move this relatively centered uh, there. So, I found a list of apparently of, of points um, in terms of ranking up for the house. I thought, so I thought I might actually look through this as we design this two-story house um, to kind of see what we have to do to try to unlock uh, the facility upgrade. We only need one more rank, but apparently there's like a ton of ranks on top of um, what we already have. So for example, um, our current rank is a uh, famous designer, uh, but actually um, there are three more ranks. Superstar designer, uh, legendary designer, and goat designer as in greatest of all time. Um, in terms of unlocking a facility upgrade, we only need to reach um, superstar designer from what I can tell, so it probably won't be too bad. Um, and yeah, I'm actually starting to think she might have like a farming theme because of like this um, and some of the other um, miscellaneous items. So yeah, I'm actually really wondering what her theme is. I might look it up off screen uh, because I'm actually kind of curious. Uh, we can definitely put out more furniture now because we definitely have room. Um, in general, she didn't really have a ton of items to choose from, so I actually might keep it relatively the same actually, just kind of expand uh, the size of everything. Um, but some of the different criteria in terms of gaining points for a rank increase um, include like the number of homes you've designed, which is pretty straightforward. Um, things like the number of different like um, island plots you've actually used, uh, which was definitely something I wish I had been aware of early on in the playthrough where I ended up using like the same like section of land over and over for multiple uh, villagers. Um, so yeah, in hindsight, I wish I'd known about that a little bit sooner. Um, things like the amount of roommates uh, that you've set up. So again, even if we didn't have to uh, chip away at this unlockable or this requirement for a different upgrade, um, it is good to actually still keep working on um, roommate houses for the time being. Um, and also things like the number of facilities built. We've actually built all the facilities, so um, we can no longer gain points from that method, sadly. Um, and I'm pretty sure there's even one for, yeah, using partitions, uh, which, which is definitely something I've been kind of neglecting. Um, I've talked about this a little bit as well, but another slightly obscure requirement uh, for gaining points is actually spending a certain amount of time on a build. Um, up to, I think, about 20 minutes, in which case you'll also be given uh, the wallpaper and flooring uh, for that particular villager. Um, so yeah, there are plenty of unlocks, um, or plenty of ways to get points, which is good. Um, 
in general, I feel like getting to the next level won't be too terrible, I hope. Um, in which case we will be able to show off the, um, sh to show off the facility upgrades. Um, but I don't think in this, in the duration of this playthrough, I don't, I don't think we'll end up actually unlocking, like, the greatest of all time ranking. Um, just because of how, like, absurdly high that, uh, requirement was. Um, so yeah, uh, if we can at least show off the, um, the, um, the upgrades, I, I'll be fine with that. But again, I wouldn't, I would not count on seeing, yeah, like, all the ranks and everything. Um... There are also several other miscellaneous things that we can unlock over time that we'll be gradually chipping away at over time. Um, like, basically, you will still keep unlocking things up to a certain point. Uh, so even though we had the big party and everything, uh, there are still plenty of things to actually unlock from here. Um, so yeah. Um, a lot of guides don't detail this though, so a lot of the information was actually really hard to find um, because a lot of guides just kind of got to the 30 house milestone and actually stopped. Um, so it's actually a little bit tricky finding some of this information uh, and there was also like conflicting information as well. So sometimes a site will be like, something will unlock at this number of houses built and then it'll actually be a different number that you actually need. Um, so yeah, in general, it is a little bit complicated uh, in terms of actually seeing what we need to do. Um, I think I generally have an idea, but it's still, like, some of the details are still a little bit foggy, I'd say. Like, not 100% confident um, in some of the unlocks. Uh, so yeah, at this point, um, because everything after 30 ends up being kind of a blur, uh, it ends up being kind of like, we're kind of on our own to some extent. Um, so, one thing I want to try is, can we put a... Um, an accent wall on a house um, or on like an individual wall for a partition? And the answer seems to be no. Alright, so no partition wall. Um, I might go with something like this actually, a little bit more like um, a little bit fancier than what we had before to be honest. Um, Again, I kept the previous house very minimalistic, uh, so we're actually going to be a, a little bit more elaborate this time. Um, not overly fancy, but a little bit more uh, complicated, I guess. Um, I kind of want like a, a shared dining table, like right by here, but then this will have to move somewhere else. I might get rid of the couch, actually, or at least move it somewhere else. Um, I might actually put it on this wall. Um, roommate designs are fun, actually. Um, it's a nice little additional challenge that's, again, very unique to this game because it wasn't in the last game. Um, let's see, two chairs because we have two roommates. Um, yeah, a little bit cramped, but, uh, I think this'll work. Um, I actually might put this stuff over here, um, like so by this corner and then put the couch maybe along this wall. And can I change the color of this couch? I can. Um, make it a color that kind of matches the decor a little bit better. Um, so yeah, uh, I still have some work to do. There's definitely things I can put on shelves and things like that. Um, so, we will be continuing this roommate build uh, next time, so thank you for watching, and I hope you'll join me next time for more Animal Crossing, New Horizons, Happy Home Paradise.